when I came from the University of Ray in Calcutta, no producer entertained me. Abbasa was so close to us. So he asked me, just by off the moon. But yeah, Saath actors are mere. Ek role hai tumhare liye. Karoge? I said, I said, why not? Samadha came to Bombay. I met him first. Below Mr. Abbas's office, I took him upstairs. If you listen to the story, Amitabh has to observe it. That time he used to have a hair covering his ears. If he saw the sky on the sky, and started to do this, then he was rejected by the sky. What a joy in the sky of the sky of the sky when the death didn't come in the sky. He said, uncle, this is not my life. He said, what are you saying, son? You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. हरवंश राय बच्चन के बेटे हो तुम और मुझे रंगल में को दस मिनट दीजिए मैं आता हूँ तो ही वॉक्ड आउट आई डेंट माय फादर ऐसे व्हाट हैव यू डन माय हीरो इस वॉक्ड आउट इन द फिल्म पर वीन वाज नॉट इन एवरी सीन एंड एट दैट टाइम ऑब्वियसली शी वाज गोइंग थ्रू अ रफ फेज पर आई थिंक शी वाज Wherever I go down south, they say Baba mar gaya. Till today, till today. And then I decided, what if my character is like Clark Kent of Superman, who's a coward, and that very same guy in the night becomes Shyam Shah. Sir, you know you, your father was a legendary writer. You're really a Hindi film industry wala. You understand Bollywood and in cinema, Hindi cinema very well. What is the core difference when it comes to working in Bollywood to say working down south in Tollywood in Telugu industry? Now, like I said, like I said, their work culture is totally different. They're very punctual. I was very lucky to have Amitabh Bachchan in my films. Four of my films is very punctual. I can't say the rest about others because my first film. I was told by Amitabh when I was doing Kalia. It will take some time, Tino, because I am giving you a preference, but not over my other directors, whom I've already started work with. Time will take, but the picture will be four years. And before that, I had another picture started. That was "The World in My Jeb." Shashi Kapoor, Rishi Kapoor. The tragedy in that film was Shashi was already given a name. Taxi actor in uh, by Raj Uncle Raj Raj Kapoor. The taxi uh, taxi hai, Shashi five five shifts a day. Oh, yeah. So he never gave me more than two hours. He used to come at seven nine thirty. He would pack up and leave for his next shift. One of the five shifts in a day he used to do. One of the five shifts. Rishi Kapoor ka. You know, he was great friends with my brother, and it was because of Rishi Kapoor we started this. My brother started a production. Dunya meri jeb mein. And Rishi Kapoor, extremely friendly with my brother, he had said, "I don't want any money from you." You know, at that time when you're breaking into films as a producer, your main worry is paying your actor. And Rishi had said, "Not a penny. Don't talk of, talk to me about money. If you do." I walk out of the film, so that was a great relief to my brother that he does. But Rishi said there's one condition: I will not come before ten thirty because I'm a late riser. I'll come on your sets at ten thirty. So my brother had to agree. But here there are two brothers. They're playing two brothers in my film. One comes at seven o'clock and leaves at nine o'clock. That film took me five years oh. to complete, but. During the making of the film, I mean, people were impressed. Get the here is some kind of a guy who's who's come in with, with Hollywood in his mind. I mean, I had people. I was very lucky. I had Viru Devgan because I was having nervous attacks. How do I manage a scene? And Viru, when he came to know, he said, "Tino, don't worry, yar. Ti kena." एक आएगा सात बजे चला आएगा नौ बजे उसके जितने शॉट्स हैं हम डुप्लीकेट के साथ में ले लेंगे दूसरे एक्टर के ऋषि का डुप्लीकेट है बहुत अच्छा 
اس کے شاٹ لے لیں گے کلوز اپ لے لیں گے ایڈیٹنگ سب ایڈیٹنگ کا کمال ہوتا ہے یار اور میں اس اسکول سے آیا تھا نا ویئر ایکٹرز یوز ٹو سٹ آن اے بینچ لائک یوز ٹو سی وتھ یوز ٹو سی یور شاٹ ناؤ اینڈ دے یوز بی دے ہارڈلی اسپینڈ اینی ٹائم ان دا میک اپ اس وقت وینس تو تھے ہی نہیں ان دا میک اپ رومس اینڈ ہیئر آئی واز ورکنگ وتھ ایکٹرز ہو ناٹ دیر پریزنٹ ایٹ دی بٹ دین آئی لرنٹ مائی دیٹ کرافٹ اور اس کی تعریف میں اس لیے کروں گا امیتابھ بچن اینڈ امجد There was a scene in Kalia where Amitabh Kalia burns up Amjad Khan's factory and comes out and Amjad Khan arrives with his men and the police. I say, he's the man who's responsible for this fire. And Amitabh says one dialogue. Tell the police people, what have you done and what have you done? Because he is... There was gold in the factory, which he had. Amitabh is, uh, Amjad says, arrest him. Policemen from Amjad's side come, arrest Amitabh, take him away from Amjad into a waiting jeep behind. I managed it. Words of Viru Devgan. Aise kar sakta hai tu. I did it. Viru was not the... Fight master in, uh, in uh, Kalia. Kalia. Kalia had uh, uh, came the day of dubbing. Amitabh said, kya scene kya tha? So I showed it to him. He said, Prasit, chala. He ran the whole scene again. He said, one second, one second. Amitabh was never there. <laughs> <laughs> Because I shot Amitabh's scene on, in January. Oh. And Amit's count of this thing, I took in May. And you made it on the edit table? Uh, on the editing table, how you, how you can do it. It's just that craft I learned from Viru and I hats off to him because I've always given a credit to him. I learned my filmmaking from him. Because when I came from the University of Ray in Calcutta, no producer entertained me. وہ باہر سے بول دیتے یار یار رے رے صاحب کا اسسٹنٹ رہا ہے وہ رے جیسی فلمیں بنائے گا ہم کو سمجھ میں نہیں آتی ہے اور بولو ہم نہیں نہیں ہے اینڈ آئی لٹرلی ہرڈ دا آفس ڈورز ور لاکڈ فار می آئی اسٹار میکنگ ایڈ فلمس کمرشل فلمس آئی وانٹ اے اوارڈ آلسو ان ان کان فار کٹ آف شارٹ فلم سو دو سال میں نے ایسے چلائے اور میں نے کہا یار آپ کچھ کمرشیل ہی سوچو تھا یہاں پہ کوئی فیوچر نہیں ہے اپنا یو ایکچولی وانٹیڈ ٹو بی این ایکٹر اینڈ یو آر ایکچولی سائن بائی کے عباس فار دا فلم سات ہندوستانی اینڈ دین یو لیو دیٹ فلم اینڈ وین ٹو ایسٹ مسٹر لیٹ می ٹیل یو ویری فرینکلی ایوری مارننگ وین آئی ویک اپ آئی لک ایٹ مائی سیلف این میرا بین ڈوئنگ دس آئی سے تو ایکٹر کہاں سے بنے گا یار تو آئی نیور تھاؤٹ آف بیکمنگ این ایکٹر پہلی چیز تو یہ غلط فہمی ہے عباس صاحب واز سو کلوز ٹو اس Every evening we used to have an Adda meeting with my father. He used to live in Juhu. We used to live in Warden Road. Okay. But we used to get to the evening. We didn't have such a friend. So he asked me, just by the off the moon. But here are seven actors. One role is for you. Do you do it? I said, why don't I do it? I'll do it. I'll do it. Every man more has a dream of being, being an actor. And one of the seven roles. Very good. So I started going for auditions, I mean for uh, rehearsals in his Jew office. Till I got, one day I got a telegram from Mr. Ray. Because he was talking about Ray Saab. Ke saab mein. I wanted to become a director. So Ray Saab was talking about Ray Saab. Ray Saab said, I'll next film. Jab main shuru karunga, I'll take Tino. And that's all. Go how, again, Bagaban. How I got a letter was, I mean, the telegram was, I'm starting my film in January. Inder, he told my father, send your son. So I went to Abbas Saab and I said, Uncle, I beg forgiveness, but my dream is to become a director and I'm getting a chance to work with Ray. So if you allow me, I'm sorry to abandon ship. I said, no, no, go, better. Good. It's very good that he's taking you. So I went to Calcutta. to become a director. 
और यहाँ पे एक स्लॉट खाली हो गया था एक लड़की थी जिसे मैं बहुत अच्छी तरह जानता था शी एज कम फ्रॉम डेली नीना सिंह तो वो भी आती थी रिहर्सल्स के लिए उसने देखा कि टीनो इज गोइंग अवे देर वन स्लॉट एम टी तो शी केम टू मी टीनो डू मी फेल हो गया आई हैव अ फ्रेंड इन कैलकट हिज नेम इज अमिताभ ये नहीं कहा बच्चन अमिताभ ही वर्क इन बर्ड इन कंपनी very fond of acting he does a lot of stage plays in calcutta non professional but a good personality tall he is he showed me a photograph of so of this tall young man standing in front of victoria memorial in calcutta okay if you can put in a word to a bassa ask him to take an audition and then it's up to him so first thing when i went to abassa Abbas Ab had a very fiery temper, fire. I mean, absolute full of fire. You lose his cool at anything. So I went and said, "Uncle, this is a photograph. He wants to be an actor. He works in Calcutta. Yes, I will take the audition. But tell him to give it to me. He will come to his own money. He will stay in Bombay. I will not give him any money. So I told Nina that this is the case. Anyway, call him. Somedab came to Bombay. I met him first below Mr. Abbas's office. I took him upstairs, and there the introductions were made. And then Amitabh came into the film in Saath Hindustani. That is how things worked out. And then when you made your directorial debut with Kalia, and you signed Amitabh Bachchan, who was the biggest star on on of that time, and he still is. How easy was it for you to sign Amitabh Bachchan? No, no, no. It was not easy. It took me one year. Of going, sometimes he used to be shooting in Ranjit Studio, Rup Tara Studio, so he would call me there. But he never had time, so he would say, "Sorry, you know, my secretary will call you and give you the time." It didn't happen for one year, but I didn't give up. I knew the day he hears my script, he there's nothing on earth which will stop him from saying no. And finally, he was shooting the climax of Dawn. the graveyard scene yeah and he asked his secretary to tell me to come there and narrate me the story he have time so i went there zinat was late that day so amit brought to asked for two chairs in the garden chandivilli studios i remember and he said okay narrate it to me so i narrated him the script of kalia and uh, he listened to me and heard the story Oh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I said, Amit, you don't have to tell me. I know you love my story. Said, What? Bad confidence, sir. How is it? I'm not going to open it. You care about my story? How can I know? I said, someone told me before coming and meeting you. If you're listening to a story, you have to observe it. That time, he used to have hair covering his ears. That time, he used to have hair covering his ears. अगर उसने आसमान की तरफ देखा और ऐसे करना शुरू किया समझ लो रिजेक्ट हो गई गाली तो <laughs> मैं शुक्र मनाता हूँ योर हैंड डिड नॉट गो टू योर एंड यू डिट लुक अप इन द स्काई सो यू हैव डेफिनेटली लाइक माय स्टोरी ओके डिनू वन मीट माय ब्रदर कैन टॉक बिजनेस विद हिम ही टॉक्स बिजनेस डेट्स एवरीथिंग इन मैनेज मैनेज सो कालिया है बट यू नो कालिया Uh, have some one of the memorable uh, dialogue the, the most famous one is hum jahan khade hote hain line wahi se shuru hoti hai or the music jahan teri ye nazar hai the popular song by adi baman how do you look back at kalia it was your first film this must be a big turning point in your in your career how do you look back at kalia and the journey of making it you said it took 4 years yeah. for you to make that film yeah, but, but i don't think if you see how smooth film, was the whole journey The idea was I was working with the best actor available to me. I mean, किसको chance मिलता है first film के लिए? I had him at our budget, and I I knew there was the, the second strength was my main strength, not second strength. Main strength was my father, who wrote all these lines. In the Rajanand. In the Rajanand. He was my backbone. He was my everything. and i knew he'll put all his blood 
blood, sweat and tears in my script, which he did. And it, it was a fun film to make. It took four years, that's a different thing. But I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. The journey has been fantastic. And that started our... Uh, we're not that close friends at that time. That time. But during the making of the film, slowly, slowly we came close to each other. And then I made three more films with him. So that's, that's the journey which I enjoyed a lot. But sir, you were a debutant and you signed the biggest star of the country. Did you have any disagreements uh, on oh, many, the sets? Many, yeah. many, many. But the dis disagreements were mainly because of the dialogues. And dialogue I knew. My father was the strength of Urdu. I mean, no one could argue with him. Dilip Kumar and my father never worked together. They were great friends. Because Dilip Kumar suspected that this man will walk onto my set and say, you're speaking it wrongly. And no one tells Dilip Kumar you're speaking it wrongly. So has that happened on Kalia yes, also? Yes, 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 yes. It happened in Kalia. Uh, there was one party scene. I remember very well. And my father was nowhere around in that. Uh, he had just given, wrote, written the dialogues in the night. And the scene is where Pr Pransav says that you have made a gra grand success of your life. But the journey that you have taken, the road that you have taken is made of gold. That will lead straight to my prison or to the gallows. Kalia, that is your future. And Kalia says, Kya naza ki taklifo mein maza jab maut na aaye jawani mein kya lutf janaza uthne ka har gham pe jab matam na hoga I told my father when he wrote the line I said, Dad, iska matlab kya hai? I don't know. Main English medium ka padha hoon. I said, haa, wo problem Amitabh ka bhi hai. Lekin wo bhoot bade poet ka beta hai. Wo bhi shayad poochega tumhe. Iska matlab kya hai? बोल नहीं सकता भाई उसको बोलना संजय गांधी को सोच के मैंने लिखा है क्योंकि संजय गांधी उनका दोस्त था he died very young and at every corner there were people mourning his death at every corner there was mourning and hitting of the chest if he was 80 years old he wouldn't have had such a procession same way क्या नज़ा की तकलीफों में मज़ा जब मौत ना आई जवानी में means नज़ा is the throat when the breath gets stuck here if it doesn't happen when you're young what is the use of dying old मज़ा तो उसी में कि हर गांव पे जब मातम होगा that's a tribute to you तो बोलना शुरू किया No, I said, I mean, it doesn't sound like my father. Because he said it like this. I'll try. Second or third time, Kibad, during his rehearsal, he said, Take it, say, Janab, take it, say. And he said, We all look behind. It was my father. He came to me. On sets. Amit came, came to me and said, Bastard, you call that dad here or? I said, No, I don't know he's here. <laughs> My father said, Beta, this is Urdu. It has to be used. What is it? I have to say it. Amit said, Try it, sir. Yeah. नहीं हो रहा था। My father would repeat the dialogue the way he wanted it to be spoken. Now he became the director, he became the actor, and I became an onlooker. His uncle, ये मेरी ज़बान नहीं है, मुझसे नहीं बोला जाएगा ये, the way you wanted. He says ये तुम कह रहे हो बेटे, लानत है तुम पे। हर वंश राय बच्चन के बेटे हो तुम। उनके छाव में पले हो, उनके स्कूल में पढ़े हो, बड़े हुए हो, खेले हो, और तुम कह रहे हो ये मेरी ज़बान नहीं, 
लानत है तुम पर जबान नहीं है टू हंड्रेड पीपल ड्रॉप साइलेंस और सर अंकल मेरे को दस मिनट दीजिए मैं आता हूँ ही वॉक आउट आई डेंट टू माई फादर ऐसे उड़ा भी डन माई हीरो वॉक आउट इज द फिल्म If he is Harvan Shrai Bachchan's son, he won't run away. He'll come back. Now, see where he is. When I went out in an open area of Sea Rock Hotel, he was standing and rehearsing the line with my assistant. Assistant dialogue sheet. Khol ke bata hua tha wo. Oh, the dialogue bol rahe the. Do you know? I'm coming. Give me five minutes. He came. He said, "I'm ready, Uncle Ji." अब तो टीनू तो थोड़ी आउट ना एंड ही सेड इज लाइन कैमरा एक्शन लाइन मैं फादर इन सेरो सिंग कट ही सारे क्लैपिंग इन बिटवीन एंड केन एम एम्ब्रेस्ड हिम ही सेड ये हुआ ना बेटे ये हुआ बट आल्सो वाज देयर एनी बैक स्टोरी टू द फेमस सॉन्ग जहां तेरी ये नजर है आ वी वर लुकिंग फॉर ट्यून्स लाइक वी यूज्ड टू गो फॉर सेटिंग्स विद पंचम पंचम गिव द म्यूजिक वो बात बन नहीं रही थी मीन वाल अमिताभ केम बैक फ्रॉम द मिडल ईस्ट यूर गॉन फॉर शॉर्ट ट्रिप एंड ई कॉल मी होम एंड ई प्लेट दिस सॉन्ग अरेबिक था ट्यून ऑज अरेबिक और वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी कैची सो वी वेंट टू पंचम प्लेट इट फॉर हिम दिस दिस इज इट वेरी गुड वी कॉल मजरू साहब He wrote wrote the lyrics, and the song was born. But the Jaan tune was milta julta, not exactly. And also, uh, no, milta julta. Yeah. And also, the other thing was, it was very appropriately written. The situation was such that it jailed everything. Jailed. Uh, staying with Kalia in nineteen, it was in nineteen eighty when you shot the film, uh, and it was also the time when. Parin Babi was in a fragile state of mind. Can you please talk to us about? And were there days when you you had to cancel the shoot of your film? No, 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 no. Maybe postpone, but we never stopped work because Parin was not in every scene, whereas Amitabh was in every scene. Pran Sam was in most of the scenes with Amitabh. So, of course, her absence was felt because I needed dates to fix up my climax. and at that time obviously she was going through a rough phase health wise but i was told that she is coming back mahesh not had told me that she is back she she will be coming back film puri hogi tumhari so that was the one uh, question which i had and of course i saw her during kalia her her health sort of but i think she was shaken up by that silsila incident Where she was dropped and Jaya Bachchan walked into the film. Okay. That, of course, sh- shakes any actor if you're removed from a film. Why that happened, I don't know. Because Amitabh also is a very closed person. He will not talk to you about these things. Nor do I ask. But I knew that there was something which was, which had happened. But was she uh, on time? She used to come on time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very, 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 very prompt. Very. Yeah. And Mahesh Bhatt, like very, you said, was very on punctual. Side? Very punctual. Because it, this, this was the Rajneesh clan, you see, okay. Kabir Bedi. Now Kabir Bedi, incidentally, lived in the same building as I do. In Kalumal Park, in Ju. It was Danny who lived in Kalumal. Okay. And uh, Kabir used to live in uh, adjacent building, different compound called Beach House. Okay. That's where I lived. In Ju. In Ju. Yeah. Yeah. And Parin Babi was also staying close so, to. Parin Babi was okay. yeah. Not staying in uh, beach house, yeah. staying in Kalubam. So you were not part of that group, no, that Jew group. No, I was yeah. not. I was not. I have to ask you about making Pushpak Miman. It's a silent film starring Kamal Hassan. Uh, do you think it was way ahead of its time? And if it was released today, do you think it will find a new audience? Because today's audiences are embracing newer content. Look, the audience change होती रहती है. उनके taste change होते हैं. They like to watch something new. अब ये OTT OTT भी आ गया है. So. Talking about the release of uh, Pushpak, yes, I, I'm sure it'll be accepted. I'm talking about the intelligent audience, Bangalore. It ran for 25 weeks in Bangalore. In Bangalore, and whenever I used to go to Bangalore, I used to have a very famous uh, place called Black Cadillac. It's a bar. 
can you imagine i had never have to pay a single penny towards my bill in black cadillac because there was some admirer or the other or poor folk who would say it's on me sir you don't pay till today i enjoy that till today people remember pushpak and the other remember the other iconic film which is both because of kamal hasan uh nayak 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 and how i got pushpak was again a very strange uh, incident is my brother in law jalal aga yeah aga saab son brother of my wife he was making a film he was very keen to direct a film and he announced the film with three of his friends and it had sarika in it okay now one friend fell ill he could not come for the outdoor the first schedule was outdoor in bihar lohar dada now jalal started looking for an actor then he knew of course sadid it sat in dostani days I used to come for auditions and rehearsals. So he came to me. He said, "Tino, do you have the time?" I said, "Yeah, I'm free, but for a month." He says, uh, "Will you work in my film?" I said, "What film?" He said, "Nirvan." There was a common friend who was acting in it, Dada from Gwalior. He fell ill. I said, "Yeah, sounds interesting. How much money will you give me?" He's my brother-in-law. I said, "No, he has no money. He won't give me." तो मैंने कहा मैं काम नहीं करूंगा इसे ठीक है मत कर मैं अपनी बहन को वापस ले जाऊंगा घर तो ऐसे यार जोक से सही दिया जला लाइ मस्ट बी पेड व्हाट इज द रोल इट्स ऑफ एन एल्कोहलिक अच्छा ठीक है चल आता हूं दारू फ्री मिलनी चाहिए मुझे ए वॉज हैप्पी वाई आई टेल यू बी एस एल आई ड्रिंक ड्यूरिंग शूटिंग Because I know there's a darker actor with you. Your cast is darker. It's got Sati, uh, Nasiruddin Shah, Sarika, Amol Palekar. So, in case I'm not an alcoholic play, I'm not acting. Acting, I'm not going to do. I'm just going to drink. He said, "Agree." Chal, he also agreed. Then later on, I came to know one of his financial friends, who's acting in the film. He's got distilleries in Bihar. That's why he said, "Tough free, I think." Bhi. <laughs> now the film was not released there were partners who fought the film got a censor certificate but it didn't find a release but meanwhile jalal had had about 200 shows private shows showing it to people in the industry people used to get very impressed with the film And especially the cameraman Ashok Mehta, super work, super work, and Sarika. But they used to say, "Yes, I'm to take it, yar. I'm the. But ye funny actor kono hai yar. Daan baar nikle ho hai, dead si aankhe hai iski. This is my brother-in-law, Tirumanan, director. The picture release nahi hui. Ab gaye, time pass ho gaya. Shyam Shah ban rahi. Main shooting kar raha hu Amitabh Bachchan ke saath mein, Set Studios mein. तो एक फोन कॉल आता है टू द ऑपरेटर उस वक्त ये नहीं थे पुलसू नहीं थे मोबाइल फोन सो यू हैव टू कॉल अप फ्रॉम ऑपरेटर्स रूम सो द ऑपरेटर केम हर सेल्फ से मिस्टर आनंद हाउसरी में था मिताब सीन पढ़ रहा था मैं दे इज अ कॉल फ्रॉम मद्रास सारिका इज ऑन द फोन She says very, very urgent. She wants to speak to you immediately. So Amita was reading the scene. He looks up and says, "Sorry, ka. Important call." Mera ka wo kuch nahi hai yar. I don't know. I can call it up. Then jaiye suniye. Sorry, ka now tells me, "Tino, there's a film being made called Pushpak." in madras uh in bangalore sorry being shot in bangalore the entire cast is shooting and there's one day's work where we needed amrish ji he was going to play the killer 
Amrish ji has suddenly walked out of the film. We've been looking for faces till I showed your photograph with me in Nirwan to Kamal ji, and he jumped at it and he said, "I want, I want this guy. Who is he? I never met him." She said, "He's a director. He's directing Amitabh Bachchan. He said, I want to speak to him." So just speak to Kamal ji. I said, "Yes, sir." He said, "You know, please help us out. You won't regret it." People will remember this film. I said, "I'm not an actor, Kamal. I'm, I'm, I'm directing Amitabh Bachchan. I've got his dates." He said, "I want you to come only tomorrow, one day, and you come back the next morning." So I said, "I don't know. I'll have to talk to Amitabh. I, I, I really can't say yes." He said, "All right. Next one hour, please tell me, because we are desperate." I went back to the room. I'm in jail again, Ethan. Haji, kya hua? Sare ka phone urgent. My God, sir, as as if unki tragedy ho rakhi hai Amri Amri ji ki wajah se. They want me to come and act in it. My God looks at me sarcastically. You want to go? I said, "No, yar, I'm shooting with you. I've got your date tomorrow." He said, "No, when will you be back?" I said, "The next day." He said, "Okay, tell my secretary that give me an off tomorrow. That you've given me an off, and I'll be with you day after. Chutti mil jayegi mere ko." So I went to Bangalore, shot for one day, and then they said, "Whenever you are free, just let us know. We are shooting here for three months, and we'll adjust your dates." With Kamal, so pushback happened, and while we were shooting for pushback, they go, "Yes, it's going to happen." I don't know. Everything works with the help of the universe. Kamal had a ten-day gap, so he went to Madras and shot for Mani Ratnam's Nayagan, and there they had a discussion. And Kamal comes back to Bangalore and tells me, "Tino, there's a role for you." I said, Kamal, I am not an actor, yar. What, what, what are you talking of? He says, there's a film called Diagon. It's, it'll be a classic. Let me tell you, Tino. I promise you, it's going to be a classic. And if you do that role, you'll never be able to walk the streets of Madras without a burka. Wow. I say, is that what Kamal is? Kamal, please, yar. Take someone else. He says, no, no. We will take you. We want you. Nayagan happened, and he said he had told me one thing, which one doesn't do. That Nayagan is going to be such an important film that Pushpak started before it shooting, but I will see to it that Nayagan comes before Pushpak, because it is going to be a very important film, and it turned out to be, and it turned out to be a very fortunate for me, because in Madras, wherever I go down south, they say Baba mar gaya. Till today, till today. And the same dialogue you used in in their one also. Yeah, the their one was, was oh, the remake. remake of yeah, yeah. The remake. Yeah, yeah. So it was a remake of Nikon. Yes, yes, yes. You were talking about Shanksha. It will be forty years to Shanksha in few years now. How do you look back at Shanksha and how it was born? How do I look back? I'm still eating. My kitchen is stocked because of Shanksha. I still get money from the sale, resale, resale, resale. OTT platform, whatever, whatever it is, I get a lot of money. My kitchen survives because of Shyamsha. How did it happen? Um, we had made two films which had not run. Yeesh na yasa, my brother's production, and Dunya meri jeb mein. Both these films did not make okay. a name for themselves in the box office. The only way of survival was going to Amitabh Bachchan. <laughs> But Amitabh had gone through some kind of problem, health problems. And Jaya said, "Tino, as it is, he's going to reduce his work. If you have to impress him, you have to impress him with a script." I came home wondering what I can, how can I change things, write a new script for Amitabh. 
I remembered in my school days, college days also, and also Hollywood now, Superman was the topic of discussion. Okay. And then I decided, okay, what if my character is like Clark Kent of Superman, who's a coward, who gets scared. Yeah. He works in a, in a publishing house. Newspaper. He's a journalist. Yeah. All this runs away from violence, from crime, from... A, but to save that person, he becomes... He goes and hides himself and tears off his costume and he becomes Superman. So that same man is Superman and he's Clark Kent. So I thought of this cop who has a little piece of ulta, chida, each pan, pan dribbles down his mouth, lips. And that very same guy in the night becomes Shan Shah to destroy the enemies of the state. He knows he cannot do it wearing a uniform. Because there are various levels that he'll have to go through. Politicians, his seniors, corrupt. But where a Shansha, he has his own judge, he has his own courtroom, and he gives punishment himself. So that arm was the place like Arm has another story. You know, I had designed a costume with Akbar. Akbar was the designer of Amitabh. That was a given. And I had designed a leather costume with a rope hanging around the shoulders. Which is still there. Which is there. Yeah. But the arm is new. I'll tell you why. Because Amila fell ill and he announced that he will not be working in films again. Yeah. Okay. That's my worst period. <laughs> he went into hospital, breech candy. Yeah. And indefinitely. Very bad shape. Very, very bad shape. After that accident. After Kuli accident. And an announcement came on Monday or Sunday that Amitabh Bachchan will not work in films anymore. And I had spent a lot of money for an outdoor schedule. I have creditors coming to my house now. Look. And meanwhile, what Akbar did was, there was a film being made in the South with Jitendra. He gave, he was Jitendra's designer also. So he gave that same costume with the rope to Jitendra. Jitendra. I was heartbroken. I said, you can't do this here. But then I also had a feeling that he gave up. My film will never be made. But slowly, 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 Amitabh came back. I started making <laughs> corporate films, shooting in Gurgaon. But his brother told me, Tino, don't worry, I've come to know your condition. Creditors, yeah, wo, hand, ten. But if Da comes back, he'll finish his unfinished two films. And after that, if he's still in a condition to start work, yours is the first film he'll take. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there was some kind of hope, ray of hope, given by Bunty, his brother. We gathered courage, we waited, and finally I was told to come to Chandivili. Studio. Studio, where Amitabh was shooting for the first time in Bombay. So I went there and he said, Tino, I've come to know everything. Don't worry. And then lunch was being laid. This is Khana Khaiga. Well, Tino played a plate. I said, No, sir. Bhook nahi hai. Kha kya hai? No, sir. Bhook nahi hai. Now they started eating. Gavanasan said, his friend and confidant, Amit, eating lunch. And I'm just, then Amit pushed his plate away and he said, I said, I don't want to eat. You're sitting there, you're not eating, we're eating in front of you. Not fair. I said, listen to you fair things. I'll listen to you. It's like you, like a successful man, a rich man, eating food. वहाँ पे एक आदमी पहुँच गया कि मैंने बहुत दिन से खाना नहीं खाया सर थोड़ा सा कुछ दे दीजिए और गए हट डिस्टर्ब मत करने को खाना खाने दे आ गया बीच में मांगने के लिए 
تو میں نے کہا اس آدمی نے رپلائی کیا سر ایک کام کر دیجئے نا آپ کو بھوک لگی ہے آپ مجھے کھا لیجیے میری آپ کی بھوک مٹ جائے گی میری مشکل آسان ہو جائے گی اینی گوٹ یو پوائنٹ آف کورس ہی ڈیڈ بیکاز امیڈیٹلی آفٹر دیٹ ہی سیٹ ٹینو اٹس آر پرامس لیٹ می سی ہاؤ آئی ورک آئی بی ورکنگ ویری سلولی ناؤ بٹ فرسٹ فلم لائٹ ڈو از یور فلم ڈونٹ وری گو آرام سے جاؤ ناؤ کیم دا ڈے The dates were being discussed, costumes were being discussed, everything was being discussed. Costume. For years, Akbar had been designing his costumes. I said, I will not work with Akbar. No, sir. And he knew, I'm very stubborn. He said, why? I said, because he gave my costume to Jitendra for a film. I said, that is not done. And he didn't even tell me. He should have told me. That, is it possible? Is it okay? He didn't even consult me, nothing. He just took advantage of the situation. And that's not done, Amit. I'm not going to go to him. He said, then who will you go to? I said, Bada Sahib. He said, Bada Sahib, uh, he designs for cricketers and all that. I said, yeah, he's very good. He's young. He said, okay. Let's see what he comes up with. Yeah. What, how are you thinking? What are you thinking? I said, I will come up with something. Don't worry. I spent days and days with Kishore Bajaj over the costume of Amitam until we found an ad in a magazine, a fencer's ad. He was wearing this kind of arm. H-E-A, H-E-A, yeah. And that's why it was born. Later on, Hollywood cop- copied that, yeah? yeah. From Shain Shah. Hollywood mein dekho ek film mein bani hai, Marvel series mein. That man is wearing the same, same arm. Same. Now come the... We also remember Shahin Shah for these iconic lines. Rishte mein toh hum tumhare baap lagte hai naam hai Shahin Shah. And there are many lines, even you made uh, an alcohol label very famous. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. All these lines come from my father. Yeah. Yeah. Total credit goes to him. Yeah. <coughs> and his vision and his logic behind it. One day I told him, Dad, You write very poetic lines. You know, we are all English medium school. We don't understand them. And today, the college students, they watch films. They don't understand them. They don't understand them. They don't understand them. But they don't understand them. This was a very good line for Amitabh. In the jungle, the food is وہ ویجیٹیرین کھانا نہیں کھاتا ہے وہ مٹن کھاتا ہے چباتا ہے انجوائے کرتا ہے تمہارے پاس شیر ہے یہ مت بھولنا جو ڈائلاگ بولنے کے لیے اس کی آواز ہے بولنے کی پرسنالٹی ہے تو اس کو مٹن دو کھانے کے لیے ویجیٹیرین نہیں دینا بات سمجھ میں آئی لائن شوڈ میچ دا پرسنالٹی امیتا اسپیکس ویری بیوٹیفل So did you all know so when you... Knee, oh, oh, little issues. But when he comes in front of the camera, oh, he's there, all there. But did you all know that the line will become iconic? We knew it will become popular. But iconic only. 40 years later, people will say the same line. They don't know. They don't know. In fact, I got a message one day from Ahmed saying, Could you have thought these lines will become so iconic till today? Today also. KVC, when I go to KVC, Tino, there's someone quoting my line from, either from Kalia, that he will say that line. It's so iconic that the whole dialogue, 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 the whole dialogue. That's the strength of my father. My father understood you. But do you remember when you look back at Shansha, Is there a scene you think the one you enjoy directing the most or maybe you were very innovative with the staging? Shansha, yes, the climax. The court room. Stunning. The court room. And you must know, the audience also listening to me must know that was written on my father's deathbed. He called me to the hospital and we had just shot the breaking open of the courtroom door. You know, the car goes through the jeep. 
And my father was in hospital. He had had a massive heart attack. And the doctors had said that very few chances of him living, and my climax had not yet been written. And he had called me specially. He said, "Tino, this is the father's promise to his son. I will not leave my work incomplete. I will complete it. I will give it to you. Then I will go." And he wrote the entire climax from his hospital bed, dying. And what a climax! It is a stunning climax. Each and every dialogue, in each and every moment. Only thing is, there were about fourteen pages of dialogues, continuous dialogues. If you see the climax again, and I just went and I told my father, "How am I going to do this?" In my mind, come into my mind. And give me give me my shots, and literally that happened. Everything became smooth, clear, clear as absolutely as if I was going to see it on the screen, and that's how the climax is. Each and every composition also of the climax. So that's not me; it's my father. Talking about the dialogues, it was a long climax. Were there actors who were delight to work with because they remember the lines when in? in Amla, the, yes. Yeah. Abhishek, yes. I mean, all these professional actors, especially nowadays, you know, I had predicted when I was directing my Azad Hoon, everyone was from the stage, everyone was from NSD, and I had predicted to Amitabh that these guys are one day going to rule the industry. What is happening? Because they come well prepared. They they know their lines. They've understood the character, and they, if you are not sure. They will ask you, so you have to work double harder with them, and they will they will rule, and they are ruling today. Absolutely, every one is ruling today, and that is the background. That's the theatre background. Well, thank you so much, and best of luck for Salar. Thank you, and Bhushan. thank you so much for sharing so many stories with us. Well, there are many more. We probably part for two. some other day. Part two. Part Looking two. forward to part two. Yeah. Thank you so much, and best of luck, sir. Thank you, Bhushan. Thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you.